So. So. One question. Yes? When can you start? Guess they weren't going to discuss their mutual attraction. <sighs> Keep it professional. She could do this. Well, I have some things to wrap up at home. Need you to start right away. Today? Preferably. Well, I just can't. I mean, I need time to... To what? Find a place to live, for starters. It's much too far to commute. I'll set you up in a room. Temporary, of course. Until you can find something more permanent. A motel not far from here. Take a left out of the parking lot and it's a straight shot. About three miles. Can't miss it. <laughs> I'm Sage Moreau. So I read on your resume. As in Moreau Hotels? Oh, right. God awful place. No offense. No offense? You're kidding, right? <laughs> you don't pull off facetiousness very well. Facetious? No, not at all. Those places make me uncomfortable. First her attire, and now her family's legacy, both making him uncomfortable. Just couldn't wrap her head around it. Almost like he was intentionally trying to goad her, give her a hard time. I do admit, you've got a great poker face, but I'm not so gullible. My father showed me how to spot a player. He was a Texas Hold'em champion. Your father taught you to spot bullshit, and mine taught to never spout bullshit. You really don't like my family's chain of hotels? Why is that so hard to believe? Because, I mean, it's like saying you don't like taking a cruise to the Caribbean. Never been on a cruise. Don't like to travel. Don't like cramped spaces. I'll have you know that Moreau hotel rooms are very spacious. Travel America did a piece on us. The magazine rated the Moreau chain of hotels as one of the best in the country. Is this where I get the resume for your family hotel? Well, no. It's just, I don't get it. It's quite simple. Five-star anything makes me uncomfortable. The very concept behind the ideology is superficial politeness. An act of civility should be derived from respect, but respect earned from superficial means is an ugly truth I refuse to acknowledge. I apologize. I'm rambling. Anyway, I'd rather stay at the strange days. People there keep it real. Keep it real, huh? <laughs> she could be as real as the next guy. Strange days, you say? It's a little... unusual, but I think you'll enjoy it. Do you party? Party? Weed. Do you smoke pot? Oh. Do you need me to take a drug test before I start? Uh, no. I'm only asking because I do. Smoke weed, that is. And I was hoping we could smoke together. Break the ice. Break the ice? They had just made out in the middle of the factory floor. The breaking the ice chip had already lifted anchor and was set adrift. A moment of intimacy she was sure most of the workers witnessed. Slut. Good first impression. Oh, damn. He had asked a question. I beg your pardon? Do you want to smoke with me? Yes, I would. Two hours later. I finished reviewing the specs for the FH-1. Zeke turned on his chair, pinched the end of his joint, extinguishing it. Find anything amiss? No, pretty standard stuff. Indeed. Now start on the FG-1. This was amateur bullshit. Any dweeb in their freshman year could rock this out. Not challenging enough. Am I that transparent? Just easing you into the job. It's only one day. <laughs> yes, I guess you have a point. I've thought this through. <laughs> that is quite clear. Why don't you call it a day? 
Check into the strange days and get settled in. We'll start fresh and new tomorrow, and I promise to have more challenging work. I'll be staying at the Moreau. Indeed. Thank you for the position. You're welcome. Could you drop that off to Lorne on your way out? Of course. Sage. He handed her a strange day's business card. In case you change your mind. 